And a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football. I'm delighted to be able to report. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And with the game just moments away now, this really ought to be a superb watch. It's Wrexham, and they face Wickham Wanderers. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, it's a defensive lineup, that's for sure. But their wing backs and at least one of their midfield players will need to break forward when they regain possession, just to give them a threat going forward. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, it's a 5 3 2, which looks a little bit defensive to me. It certainly means they won't be able to press their opponents too high up the field. And again, that might be a problem for them. Well, it did look promising, but no threat in the end. Vokes. Is it going to be? And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. And taken short. Can he give them the lead? And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it. And now they've been rewarded. Well, here it is again. And you have to say, it's the perfect delivery into the danger area. But you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Number nine, Sam Vogt. Cannon. And Tozer has it. Tunnicliffe. Jordan Tunnicliffe. Cannon. James Jones. Well, they're behind, but they might be onto something here. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Lee. James McLean. Jordan Tunnicliffe. Cannon. Barnett. Oh, he looks threatening. A routine save. Well, the stats tell you everything. The chances have been few and far between, and they haven't tested the goalkeeper anywhere near enough. If they want to get something from this game, they're going to have to improve in the final third. Well, that's how to shield the ball and control it. Options in the middle. And there to intervene. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. David Wheeler. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. Well, underway once more and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half.
Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Vincent Young. Scoen. Well, all doing their bit to keep them out. Well, the defenders know they need to get tighter. Can't really allow runs like that. Can't miss, surely. And a goal it is. They lead by two now. Fully deserves. Well, here it is again, and it's really poor defending. They just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block, which is why the ball's ended up in the back of their net. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Vincent Young. Going well. Sends it back. That is tackling of the highest order. To the owner of the green convertible car, the green convertible car, part near reception, please return to Andy Cannon. immediately. Thank you. He's protecting it effectively. Well, relying on the passing game in a bit to get themselves back into it. And holding it up nicely. Now, who can he pick out? Oh, great defending. Just 15 minutes remaining. Gareth McCleary. And threading it through anticipation appear to be in two minds textbook defending inside the box and the verdict of the officials is offside well he just gets caught ball watching here needs to be more alive work harder to keep on side and be ready for the chance Cannon, Elliot Lee, Palmer, Elliot Lee, and he read it well defensively. Can they do something positive? on the counter-attack. Now let's see about the cross. Is it going to be an opportunity? And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, they weren't at their best today, both as individuals and as a team, and they didn't deserve anything from the game. Need a much better display next time out. performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart.